Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, like I mentioned in my last one, I want to do a colourful look, because I don't know if you kind of neutral toned looks for the last two. Um, I think I'm probably going to do my classic blue, purple, maybe throw in a bit of pink in there as well. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. I'm going to start off my skin portion first. I'm going to take the um, This Works In Transit Camera Close Up, the Moisturiser Primer Mask in one, and just prep my skin with this. For foundation, I'm going to go with this ordinary, the ordinary serum foundation in very fair neutral, and buff this into my skin. Okay, now for concealer. Now, good news, I have chased things up, and I will be hopefully receiving the Hint Beauty Concealer, either today or tomorrow, the date is the 5th of February, I don't think, oh actually this video might go up today, I don't know, um, but yeah, so hopefully, I will have that back very, very soon, so in the meantime, I'm still just going to use up the last of this concealer, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set with my Hansen Pure Bamboo Blurring Powder. Just take a little bit of this and set everything I need to set. Okay, so I definitely need to warm up the skin quickly because I'm almost blending into the wall behind me. So I'm going to take my Lily Low Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit and go ahead and warm up my skin. Okay, for blusher, I'm going with my Hensent Pure Healthy Blusher. Oh, that was quite a lot. I'm going to take this up round here as well. I'm going to take my buffing brush and just go over those edges. Just to diffuse ever so slightly. So it looks a little bit less intense. Okay, for highlights, I'm going with the Maya Chia um, Highlight of the Day in Golden Hour. Pops on the back of my hand. Literally like the tiniest amount is necessary. ahead and just fill in my brows. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Lily Lolo Eye Primer and just prep and prime my eyes. Okay, so yeah, because I want to go colourful on the eyes, but I'm also going to keep it quite simple, I think, and maybe slightly editorial. So I'm going to go first in with actually Deep Purple from Lily Lolo. It's a mineral eyeshadow. Beautiful shade. And I'm taking this on a 100% Pure E20 brush. Just picking some up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start creating that classic kind of graphic bold liner, bold wing liner effect because it's one of my favourite looks in terms of editorial I think. I did one very similar recently on my Instagram with actually Pixie Sparkle, but I use that one quite a lot, I think, so I want to like change up. I thought I'd go for deep purple, and I've got a 
pink I can add to it and like a matte blue as well I might add to it as well and see what happens. So I'm very much pressing this into the eye primer just to make sure it's stuck down. I may get a little bit of fallout but hopefully not too much because I'm tapping off the brush and I should be able to because I've set skin wipe that away. I'm actually going to use a bit of the sculpting shade from Lily Lolo on a blending brush and go ahead and slightly soften these edges. Okay, now change your plan. I'm going to take some primer on a brush, the Lily Eye Primer, and try and like fix the shape of this wing. I think actually I want it to be a certain shape, so I'm going to go over it. that's better I'm just using a fluffy brush for this usually I do use a bit more of a denser precise brush but I do kind of want slightly soft edges but only very slightly so and this seems to be working quite nicely okay cool I quite like that so now I'll attempt to mimic that on the other side now which could be interesting So I think I've got them relatively even. I mean, I've got uneven eyes as it is, so it's quite hard. But I think that actually they're quite relatively symmetrical. And symmetrical. I'm not going to stop messing around with it because I know it's going to go wrong. Um, but yeah, so I think I'll leave it there. I'm just going to quickly show you something. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. There you go. Betty. Oh, Betty. Okay, what I think I'm going to do next, for the inner corner, I'm going to take the shy shade High Res from Silk Naturals. It's one of their mineral eyeshadows. It's just a beautiful pinky tone colour. Ooh. Looks like this. But on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to pop this right in this inner corner here. I just had to pop a pink right there. Actually, just bring it slightly on to kind of start bringing it onto the lid just to kind of blend in toward the purple. It's very pretty actually. Dusting it a little bit over because it does have a little bit of sparkle to this one. So I might actually just dust a very small amount right over this inner portion and we'll do like an ombre effect. And it has slightly brightened that inner corner with the inner section. I'm just going to tidy up the shape. I still want the shape to kind of be there, so I just need to tone it down slightly in terms of that. But yeah, this is cool. That's really pretty. I might not add the blue, I was going to add a blue to it. I was going to take, um, well, try and use the shade Royal from Silk Naturals, which isn't the easiest of shade to try and use. Um, I actually think I might leave it there and keep it very simple. So I'm just going to go in with some mascara now, just on the upper lashes, and that's kind of that done, I think. And I might add a brow bone highlight as well, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to load up my upper lashes first. So I'm actually going to take a bit of the Lilo Illuminator for the brow bone highlight. I don't want anything too intense like the actual skin portion but just something a little bit just there. I think will work quite nicely. All that's left to do now is lips. So I'm going to take the Benacost lip line in brown. And I'm going to take the Lilo Vegan lipstick but in birthday suit today. Okay, 
Anyway, so that is this video complete. Like I said, I want to play with a bit more colour today because the last two were quite neutral looks and I turned it into a slightly more of a fun, kind of like graphic liner type of look. Very simple, only two colours involved in the end. I was going to add a look blue, but I think actually the purple and pink worked really quite well together. This also just shows you don't know how to put loads of colours on your eyes to make create a colourful look. Even just two works perfectly fine together. So I'm really happy with how this video turned out. I hope you liked it too. Hopefully, like I said, the Hint Beauty Concealer is going to arrive either today or tomorrow, um, which is exciting. I'm planning on filming another video tonight. Um, so whether it'll be in time for that, I don't know. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave any requests for features down below, any products you're loving, um, and any questions. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.